Hey everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paws and Paper. So as promised, here is going to be the complete th flip through of this holiday collection bundle 2021. And I'm going to go through each of these journal collections. Um, I am only going to go through like this is a whole entire paper pack. There are a hundred different types of pages in here. And I'm only going to go through one because the rest of them have exactly the same sort of papers, just different images. Um, I will go through every journal, though, because they are all different. Um, they are all vintage Disney-themed books. And then everyone also gets a envelope that has been made with vintage pages full of different um, journal cards and things in there. And I will only go through one of those, but I will show you each the envelope. Again, all the same papers, or not the same, but the like papers, different images. Um, also, everybody gets a tag. There's an autumn themed tag with a gessoed uh, book page tag and a fabric um, ruffle topper on each of those and every single one has these cute little paper bag journals and I am not going to flip through every one of these either because again all of them are very similar just the images and then the papers and stuff are a little bit different but all made relatively the same so let's start with this one first and this one you'll see listed in my shop as Todd and we'll start with the little paper bag journal so buckle in people this is going to be a longer video and if you just want to see a certain journal just fast forward me so here we go um, it should go a little faster because like I said I'm not going to go through every piece I'll just go through the journals so here's the first paper bag journal um, they all come with a charm of some kind on them and a fabric ribbon and you open them up and there are tags everything has been sewn and backed with coffee dyed paper and that applies to every single collection again the papers and the images on the tags and stuff might be different but they all have a small little blank journal here a belly band in the middle with a tag and then a pocket with another tag. And then the end has a pullout card. Again, every single one has one of these, just a different image. And then has the pretty papers there and on the back. So all of these paper bag journals have been Christmas themed or winter themed, as you can see. And there's the paper bag journal. The next thing in your bundle is a autumn fall type uh, pocket that has been clustered with some little design here. This one has some fabric and a leaf. And then, like I said, all a book paged, sewn, and gessoed so you can write on it um, tag. And they all have a fabric ruffle at the top. That is sewn on there. So all these are slightly different. But there's your autumn theme. So we have winter and autumn. And every single person will get one of these tied up with some of this red and white candy cane twine. And these are all made with vintage book pages. It's just a little envelope. And inside, there's a variety of different papers and things to play with. Some new, some old, some coffee dyed. Um, just different assortment of papers. Again, every envelope has these in them. You might just get different images. And the same number in every envelope. And everybody gets a postcard. That is just looks like wintry or Christmassy. 
Okay, so that's the envelope. Okay, and then here is, we'll do the journal last. Here is the collection of papers tied in all this ribbon here. And these images are just sewn on. I thought they were really colorful and pretty, just random pages. Um, another pretty ruffle. And inside, you get a vellum pocket that has been sewn on there. And these are all kinds of stickers. And you get a pocket down here with some, these are ice, um, colon ice tickets. These are original antique tickets there, which I thought was kind of cool to play with. And then a huge collection of papers here. And we're not gonna go through every single piece, but I will tell you there are a hundred different kinds of papers in here, um, different textures, varieties. 50 of them are um, newer or, um, you know, like not antique or vintage. And then there are 50 original vintage things in here. So this one here, this is a postcard from 1907. So you'll get 50 pieces of authentic um, antique vintage papers and 50 pieces of just really cool papers um, that I thought would be fun to play with. Some like origami paper, um, some pretty napkins to maybe decoupage and play with, um, coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed index cards, and a lot of the pages I really tried to go for pictures because I am a huge picture person. I love the pictures um, in some of these old books. So I really tried to go for, this is just antique dictionary. Um, that's just out of a play. So there's a wide variety of stuff, but really I tried to go for, and these are all original. Anything in here is 100% original. Um, I did not make copies of anything. Some of them I tried to leave whole, um, so you can actually just put them into a signature. You wouldn't even have to cut them up. Um, really pretty images, um, of anything I could find or just pretty lettering that I liked thought was neat. Um, here's some stationery, um, just some pictures to play with, uh, music, um, book page, more cool pictures. Um, yeah, just a wide variety of stuff in here. Um, these, these are the watercolor, um, wildflowers. I do have a digital, the set of the digitals, of all of these, I scan them into my computer and that's what the watercolor digitals are. So in this pack, you will get an original one piece of the watercolor um, wildflowers, which I thought are really pretty. Um, here's just a big piece of doily, um, just a neat textured paper, the really um, aged caramelized paper. Um, just some really cute images from a kid's dictionary page. Um, this is just, you know, like the coloring page. More kids' books. Um, really tried to find the images in some of the kids' books, but you'll see a lot of the pages I did try to keep together. Um, did not try to do a bunch of the glossy pages. Um, I know some people find those hard to work with. So there's not a ton of the glossy pages. Here's just some pretty like copy paper you could play with, or you could coffee dye it. There is ledger in here. There are, this is, um, you can uh, make an envelope. It's got a pretty flower on the back, so you just cut out the shape and you can make yourself an envelope. And every pack has this in there. And then this is just a cute piece of stationery to go with that envelope. Um, everybody gets a quote. They're all from different things, but just a cool quote. Um, some poems, more birds or animals, some lots of black and white images, dragonflies, butterflies, 
um, a whole piece of vellum here to play with. That's always fun to play with. Oh, and the, it just keeps going on and on. Um, some children's writing paper, some coffee dyed paper, some, this is a card stock. This is actually a card, a glossy photo quality card. You can make a greeting card. This is just a piece of white card stock you can use to print something on or use it to make tags or anything, pockets. Here's just a piece of, um, I always forget to what to call this. The, uh, just like the, what do you, what do you call that? The, uh, 12 by 12 sheets of paper. Um, these are actually perforated. They are, um, postcards sized and they're photo quality paper. Um, you can use those for a lot of fun things. Um, here's some sheet mu music. This is vintage sheet music all in one sheet. Um, same here, some more. This has just got a pretty color to it. Um, some black and white bird images that are really pretty. This is a full sheet out of a, the 1917 Needlecraft. So you get a big piece of this, which is just really cool because there's a bunch of neat images on here. Um, just the Just even like cutting that and using that for something that's just neat. So full sheet of that. Um, another vintage book page. This is out of uh, old uh, uh, Good Housekeeping um, magazine. Um, yep, this one. This is the same, same magazine, 1937 Good Housekeeping. This one just has some cool ads on it, so you get that. There's some colored bird pictures. More colorful bird pictures. Um, this is just like a fly sheet of a big giant, like one of the big book pages. Um, just a really cool, pretty texture. These are really pretty colorful images. Um, one black and white, one color. Um, these are also really pretty from a vintage book. Big, huge, pretty colors. Um... And then these are kind of cool. These are all out of a antique book I had found. Just some really cool images. And everybody gets a full sheet of these that are bound like that. They're just still together. Just some more that great paper. Some um, maps. And then the folder itself is... Um, collaged on the back with uh, music and book page and then I showed you the vellum pocket with all the stickers everybody gets a variety of different kinds of stickers in there and that is the collection 100 sheets of antique vintage and newer papers okay so we're not gonna flip through all the other ones of those but that's what everybody gets is a collection like that so let's move some of this out of the way. Now let's get into all the journals. Okay, so the first one here. This one I call Todd. And it's got beautiful vintage lace on there. Really finely detailed, really pretty. Um, spines are covered in fabric. Um, the lace goes all the way around on all of them. And then they're covered with um, some cardstock on the back. And... I just tried to go with all the pretty colors of these and I did not, um, most of these do not have any text in them. I just wanted to go for the colors. So I'm not going to go and flip over every single one of these tags because every single one is going to be sewn and backed in coffee dyed paper. So I will just flip through these a little bit faster so we can get through this video and I will just show you the images. So this one here, just really pretty pockets. Um, I tried to just utilize all the pages that I could out of the books and they are very grunged up. I did a lot of dark inking. Um, this is just a flip pocket. They all have the same structure too and they pretty much follow the same design. Um, small pocket or small uh, tag there, full page 
tag and journal card. I just love the images on these. And then everyone has two signatures with the center signatures being just a pretty page. Um, everyone comes with three envelopes and I made these envelopes and tucked in something small that has been sewn around it. So everything in the envelopes has also been sewn around and every single one has three envelopes that I made just in different colors. There's another tag. Really pretty coffee dyed paper in here. And like you can see, I'm really just only trying to utilize the pictures. So everything in here is just really trying to emphasize all these beautiful colors and the cute animals. And I just think they turned out really good. And the envelopes have been all decorated up with something. Again, once I go through this one, I'm not going to open every one of these. I just wanted to give you an idea that there is something in all of the envelopes in every journal. And if I didn't have enough book pages to tuck in somewhere, I tried to just put in either coordinating um, scrapbook paper or a journaling card or tag that, you know, I thought matched. So some large journal cards, some tags. Every book has at least two of these flips. Just really nice coffee dyed paper. Lots of room to write in. Um, here's just a tag that I made. And again, everything is backed with coffee dyed paper. Um, just try to use coordinating colors. You'll see it's the colors that I tried to match from the front. Um, everything has been sewn around. I mean, how cute are those images? Love it. I just think these books... There's just the center of the second signature, bringing back so many memories. I just, I just, I still today just love these books. More tags, pretty good little owl. And each pay or each uh, book is, let's see, nine pages in each signature, two signatures. Um, so 36, is that 36 pages in each signature front and back? So all together, is it 72 pages? If I did my math right, I'm not sure. I will, on my Etsy link, I will give you the exact number of pages. But I can't do that math in my head that quickly. And trying to think at the same time. So, again, just really trying to emphasize all the beautiful pictures and all the beautiful colors of these books. Okay, so there's this one. So this collection will be listed as Todd. And then on to the next collection. Here is the, um, this journal is gonna be labeled uh, Miss Darling. And here's the paper bag journal you get with the key charm. And this one has pretty blue sparkly pages. And this is your fall card with your tag. This is the envelope out of vintage book pages you'll get. And here is your pack of vintage papers. So there's all those and let's go through Miss Darling. Pretty lace at the top, pretty butterfly colorful. This is a nice pretty bluish floral look. And here we go through this one. So we're going to go just through a little bit faster. I might not talk as much just so we can get through this. Let's see the images. Here's a flip. Pretty images. This is probably going to be one of the longest videos I've ever made. Just because there's so many of these journals to go through. I hope you guys like this style. Um, I hope you don't think it's too uh, juvenile. Um, I just think it's very beautiful with the, I mean, 
to me this is just pretty pictures pretty colors um, follow your dreams they know the way that's the first signature um, center but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this style I really had fun making these like I said it brought back a lot of memories Envelope. And I did try to come up with a formula. Every, every book has like three of those tall tags, three of the small tags, um, at least four journaling cards that come out with um, some have tabs and some don't. Um, there's at least at least six pockets um, and then like four or five tucks and then some images are just um, glued on and I did some like water coloring around them I hope you guys can see everything um, trying to go through this kind of fast and then here is the center signature of the second book and if you can hear Leo in the background he's digging at my couch and there's that envelope tag if you can see they're very well inked up all of them have been very grungy inked here's this envelope everything inside has been sewn Here's the last page, journal tag, or journal card, and everything. So there's Miss Darling. Okay, on to the next. This one here is going to be called Magira. And this one again has the vintage lace. Blues and greens. Very jungly looking. Um, this is the paper bag journal you get. Um, this one also has the blue glitteries on it. Um, here's your fall autumn pocket and the purple floral ruffle. Here's your vintage book page envelope with goodies in it. Jungle cats. And then your folder of goodies. Okay, so through this book here, lots of pretty greens um, and blues in this journal. Oh, those just remind me of my puppy. Look how cute. I just love it. All the way sewn around. Um, most of them are sewn in black thread. Some of them are in the cream colored thread. Just depends on what I had in there at the time and what I was looking at. So, I mean, look at that. The pinks. So, so pretty. Maybe we have a sunset and the tigers. So, this one here, I just tried to find. Um, this one was a hard one to find book pages for that fit the size I wanted to. So many of the book pages were smaller pictures. So, there are more. Um, scrapbook paper um, added but see those pretty pinks and greens and blues all the twilight looking colors um, oops I feel like I'm missing a page there and here's that envelope decorated up uh, most of that lace is vintage lace. Cute little mushrooms and butterflies. And there's more of that pretty pink color. And there's Magira. And there's another journaling card. in there. I love the monkeys. And then here's another flip. Pretty bright and happy page. Or journal card. Let's see what else 
done. And then here's a full length. This is the center of the next. I said I wasn't going to do that, and I keep doing that. So here's the center of the next. And then more cards and those pretty colors. There's the snake. Big snake. And then the bears. Pretty mushrooms. And this is really pretty lace at the bottom on there in a yellowish color. Ties real good in with this book here. And then our final page. There you go. So that one is Magira. And on to the fourth one here. And this one we are going to call Flower. It's got the pretty all over lace, the browns, brown fabric. This one's very woodland looking. This journal here has a bluish flower and pretty image and some beading. And again, the blue uh, glittery paper. Here's your autumn pocket with your tag and a goldish green fabric. Here's your vintage book page envelope with the deer, obviously, right? And here's your pack of papers, again, with that green and gold. Reminds me of the colors of the woods in fall. So this one here, beautiful. I mean, just look at that. I love that. Well, fall's my favorite time of the year, but just love those oranges and yellows. This one has really pretty, um, I did do some stamped kind of embossed paper in, in this one. This one's kind of neat with the papers. Um, here's your journaling card with the woodland animals. Lots of bunnies and owls and cute little quail. And this one does have some decorative paper in it. This is just all coffee dyed paper, um, but it is decorative paper. Pretty winter scene, more of that embossed type paper, the full page journal card, um, which leads us to the middle signature, and this is not a, a glossy page, this is actually like a matte, pretty botanical page. Here's a big old journal card, and some of those pretty browns, more embossed paper. Tag. And then we got the pretty scenery from the woods, um, a belly band here, decorated up, um, that's this envelope for this one, more of that textured paper, and here's why it's called Flower. I love the little skunk who's called Flower. More of the pretty woodland animal tags. There's another designed page. Here's the another flip. All the animals. So cute. Here's your card. Are you guys still with me, or did you not off into dreamland? I told you this is going to be a long one to get through. Pretty colors. Really tried to coordinate the colors if I couldn't find book pages. I really was at the, uh, the mercy of whatever book pages I had. Love those colors. Just love them. Love them. Really grungy. Coffee dyed pages. Envelope, they're all decorated up with something. All pockets and everything, they're all sewn around. There's this envelope. So then brings us to our last page. Very cute. The covers are all very cute. Okay, so there is flower. We're halfway through, guys. Halfway through. 
Okay, now we're on to, well, I don't know what to call this one. So we're gonna call this one um, Wolf. What should we just call it Wolf? And this comes with a cute little, well, I think it looks like a snowflake to me. Um, but this one has the red glittery papers on it in the back. And here's your autumn looking tag. This one has a purple, pretty purple florals. Here's your um, vintage book page. Little cute otters. And here's your pack of papers. Everything in it. Okay, so Wolf looks like this with some pretty pink. And this is a real pretty deep bluish green. You can see the pink a little bit better back here. But there's the pretty pinks and uh, teals. Lots of cute pictures in this one. Um, lots of cute little purple and blue and red mushrooms. The mushrooms are everywhere in this one. So cute. Love all the little lots of purple. Um, cute flip here. There's the journaling card. See, the mushrooms are everywhere in this one. If you love mushrooms, this one has a lot in it. They're super cute. All right. Through here, pocket with the wolf. There's our pig's house. Cute. Lots of bright colors in this one the yellows and the purples. And this is the center page here, just got a poem going down the side. This one here is the there's the envelope, just decorate it up like that. Lots of journaling space. There's your wolf hiding. Second envelope for this one. More. Here's a big old journaling card in that belly band. There's this journaling card for that pocket. There's the flip page. And the card. Okay. And we're still going, and we're still going. Pretty colors on these. Little tuck right there. Really grungied up coffee dyed paper. Love it. Journal card in that big pocket there. Mr. Wolf. How to cook chicken. I think he's in the wrong food group if he's cooking chicken. And here's the center of that. Isn't that just pretty? That's out of Daphne's Diary a magazine that I had gotten. Very pretty pig pages in that. And just some more drilling space here. More cards. Pretty colorful pictures. Mr. Wolf stamp. And almost done. Last page. Big old journaling card there. All right, so there's that one. We're gonna call that one Wolf. There's everything that goes with that. All right, we're down to our final three. This one here, we're just gonna call white. And this one has pretty blues and the butterflies are all different colors. And this one has a pretty uh, like sheen blue uh, cardstock on the back of that one goes with all the blues. This one here is your um, paper bag journal. And this one has like the dark reds or the dark um, black florally looking cardstock and the red polka dots. 
cute little embellishment there. Here is your autumn pocket. Your tag and those pretty blues and greens. There's the vintage book page envelope. And then your page pack of papers. Okay. And now let's take a flip through Miss White. Look at those colors. They almost look like watercolors. Very pretty. All the pretty tealish greens and pinks. These journals just really highlight all the cool pictures in those books. There's that tag, matches the front cover there. It said you don't need, need all the words in them. All you need is the pictures. center of that one. And on the back, there's that blue pretty paper. One large tag there. And this one has a pretty vintage lace on the side, tucked right in there. Some big journaling cards. Another large tag. And as you can tell, the layout I taught said was very similar to all these. They all have roughly the same layout of where pockets are placed and tags, and try to get the same number of everything in every book to make them. Uh, uniform so there's no you know real difference in how many pockets or how many tucks or tags or anything that you get because they're all laid out very similar really pretty pictures there's a center signature of that here's this envelope Miss White's doing a little bit of housekeeping there. <laughs> Eggs. Bring out some more of that blue in the envelope. Pretty lace on the side and that belly band. There's this German card there. And then the last page. Final page with another drawing card. And everything's covered with fabric on the spine. And that's Miss White. All right. Two more to go. Have we all like keeled over yet? All right. This one here, we're going to call the Golden Arrow. And this one comes with this cute little paper bag journal. This one has a key on it has some of that red glittery papers. Um, this one here, here's your autumn tag with the florals in different colors, very pretty. And this one has cute old polar bear and some black bears, if you can see them there. Super cute. And here's your big, pay, big pack of papers, same ruffle design at the top. All right, so the golden arrow is covered like so with the pretty background uh, cardstock on this one. Here's our large tag at the front. Lots of cute. Colorful pictures again. 
Um, and all these uh, flip pockets that are attached here, they're attached with washi, um, they are also glued in there also. So they are enforced with more glue. It's not just the washi tape. There's a full length pocket. And a large journaling card on that one. And here's the center of this one. I thought that was kind of cute. Just something old vintagey looking in this one. Here's the first envelope. And then that's just an image colored around, glued on there. Here's another tag that matches the back cover. Belly band. Cute envelope there. Lots of uh, that pretty gold in this one. Why it's called the golden arrow. Box images. Happy box. Uh, how many of you can remember watching these movies? I can. I probably watched every one of them a hundred times. Here's that. And then just more images watercolored around. Here's the next full length. Big journal card in the full page pocket there, all sewn around and sewn to the center signature. And this is just out of an old book. Just thought it looked vintage kind of cool, grungy looking. There's just another journal card. And there's a tuck, an upper tuck there. More journaling cards here. And here's our belly band with another envelope. And all the coffee dye papers looking really good. And there's our last page with an upper tuck. And the cool looking fabric on that one. And I just noticed this one doesn't have the lace. This one I will put a lace border around there. So this one will have a border like all the rest. All right, last and final, oh my gosh, did we all make it, is this one. This one is going to be called Aurora. Okay. Here's the little paper bag journal. Pretty looking Christmassy images. This one here is the fall tag. Got the ribbon that matches at the top to the tag. Pretty colors. And here's your vintage um, envelope. It's got the bunnies on it. And the full pack of papers with your ruffle and ribbon. Okay, so our final journal here is covered with this pretty lace and glittery blue paper and pink beads and this one's very girly. Look how girly this one is. I will say this is the only one that has different paper in it. This one does have pink dyed paper. If you can see the pink, it does have pink paper in it. That's the only difference in this one opposed to the other ones, if you can see the pink. Everything else is the same. I just thought I would add the pink paper to this one to make it extra super girly. Aw, isn't it so cute? I mean, colors, so pretty. Oh. This would make a really cool journal, even if you, had, you know, if you had a little girl, or even if you're just a a girly girl. Very pretty. 
Love these pink dyed pages. Large tag. And there's just a, this is just a, a page out of the book that I just turned into a double-sided um, bookmark or whatever. It's not um, reinforced or anything. It's just actual book page. Um, if you can see that, this is kind of has like the, the rose and leaf embossed type page pages in it and at last you saw the old castle uh, this is a cute journal I like this one too okay and this is our flip get in there and the washies some of the washies are different. Not all the washies are the same. I feel like I missed the page. Maybe not. Nope. Okay, we're good. All right. There's a big old dragon. Okay. Pretty pages here. These are um, from a digital I uh, had purchased. There's that pretty blue glittery uh, cardstock paper made into a journal card. More of that nice textured coffee paper. There's another envelope in that tuck there. There's just a pretty card, journaling card there. And our last envelope. And I think our last page and our last tag. All right. And there's the back cover of that one. So we made it through all eight of these journals. So if you are interested, go online and uh, take a look at my Etsy shop, which is um, Paul's and Paper Shop. I will have each of them listed by their names and I will also put the name on the journal when I post pictures on it to Etsy because I don't know even know if I remember all the names let alone have you remember them all so I am gonna end this video this has taken forever so if you're interested go check them out um, I really enjoyed putting these together had a lot of fun doing it I hope you guys like them um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.